Hey what's going guys, I'm Max and this is Maximum Drone. Today we're gonna learn how to pair your new DJI RC controller that I just received with the DJI Air 2S like this one. But stay tuned to learn more after this. And welcome back. And before even going to, through the DJI RC controller, first we're gonna make sure we have the proper firmware on the DJI Air 2S. That's a mouthful. <laughs> the Air 2S. So yeah, make sure we do this. I'm gonna use the uh, old remote and my cell phone to pair it and to download the firmware. This is the easiest method. The other method, if you don't have this and you just order the drone and the uh, DJI RC controller, you have to plug it into a computer, download the uh, DJI, DJI Assistant 2 uh, software to download the firmware. I'm gonna show you just after this method in this video. But first, let's go with the easy method. I'm gonna power this controller. Make sure the DJI Fly app is open. Now that my controller is powered on, let's power on um, the drone, the R2S. It should be now. Yeah, it's loading. It's a loud one. <laughs> so the DJI Fly app should recognize the R2S. If not, let's go in connection guide. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it popped in. So as you can see, it's live. But let's go into the settings, into about, and there's the uh, aircraft firmware update. I'm gonna check for updates. Checking version. Yeah, it's been a while, so I should have a new version right away. Popping. Ah, now it says that I need to update the firmware. Let's go. Update. This is gonna be the new version. V02.04.2500. Hi, hi. <laughs> Let's press install. And But before you do this, make sure you have plenty of battery. I charge mine, just to be sure I have enough. And that your controller is full of battery also, and as well for your cell phone. Let's press install. It's gonna take a little while. Oh, look at that. Does someone need some attention? Come on, move, move. Move, Wilson. <laughs> Wilson is making sure the update is going uh, smoothly, as you can tell. Cats. Cats and drones. <laughs> I should rename my channel Cats and Drones. Hurry up. Up. Oh. Much, much, much later. Finally, <laughs> finally the firmware is installed. Uh, it took me maybe 10 to 12 minutes. Now that is done. Press the little X there. Um, pressure is gonna connect right away with the drone. No, okay, there you go. Oh, come here. So it works. Okay, now it's done. I'm gonna leave my R2S running. And we're gonna switch to the DJI RC controller to make sure we have the proper firmware installed. So let's boot it up. And to make sure you see something, I'm gonna record with the GoPro. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I think you go in the connection guide and uh, there's gonna be a pop-up on the top left corner uh, telling you that you need to update the firmware of the uh, DJI Fly app that's installed. So let's see. I don't know if you can see well, I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, I'm into the connection guide, I mean the Fly app. So it should detect that it's not having the proper firmware. It's gonna pop on the left. Let's see. No, okay. Let's wait a bit. If it doesn't appear, uh, you can go into profile. You go into settings and you check for firmware update. So it's gonna pop 
the new firmware and then you, you press update and the other case is gonna pop up on the left side there you see it says new remote controller firmware available and it's oh boy it's 900 gig uh, 900 megabytes yeah it's a lot let's press download there it's uh, about the same so if you press download there or you go into profile um, and settings and check for firmware update but it's currently in progress so you won't see it but it's the uh, same result so if i press more this is the screen you should have and this is the face you should not see if you do it by yourself it's gonna take a while so let's come back once it's done oh it's booting yeah i think we're getting there ah oh, almost <laughs> Booting again. Oh, something's happening. We'll see if the Air 2S is in the list. It's uh, updating the resource data. Blah, blah, blah. Now starting DJI Fly. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not now. All right. Let's go in the connection guide once again to see if the R2S is there. Oh, there's a DJI Mavic 3 Pro, Mini 3, Mavic 3 Classic, Mini 3 Pro, Mavic 3. And there you go, the DJI R2S is there. So I'm gonna just open my screen again so I can see something. So you press on the DJI R2S. It says, uh, yeah, you have to power it on, you have to uh, Open the blades. Uh, I didn't do. Uh, I didn't do opening the blades. So let's do this. So proper space to part. Okay, there you go. From a version inconsistent. It's normal. It's always saying this. Uh, if you switch in the app from one drone or the other, it's gonna pop up. Uh, wait, it, there's an inconsistency in the firmware. So press continue. So it's updating both firmwares to make sure that there's no um, connectivity issue. Relink device to aircraft if device restarts automatically. Okay. So let's see how it goes. If it doesn't connect right away, it's normal. You have to press, you see in the bottom down, uh, you see at the bottom, sorry. Uh, unable to connect to aircraft, you press this and you go into the pairing method so i'm pressing pair it's gonna beep and i need to press and hold like, like it says press and hold for five seconds until the aircraft beeps now they both go in pairing blinking method oh it's connecting you see the red dots over there the red dots, the red lights. Oh, and I'm connected. It worked. <laughs> so it took a while. Uh, but yeah, the connected device not bound to aircraft. You may continue flying with a connected device five times. Connected and bound. My controller. Okay. Change bound device. Okay, it says that I don't usually use this controller. Um, I was using this old controller before, so it says, wait, usually don't use this bounding method, binding method, so I'm gonna tell him that I wanna use this from now. So I confirm. Just gonna open my screen again. Binding so successful, sorry. <laughs> cool. Okay, I press the X. Uh, thank you for using the Gyre Sense. Yada yada yada. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna activate it now. So as you can see, it worked. We're paired with the uh, DJI Air 2S and the DJI RC. So the only thing missing is like I have to change my settings I had before on my DJI Fly app on the cell phone. So you do this, you can copy your settings.
Okay, now let's see how we do it on a laptop using the DJI Assistant 2. I'm going to show you how to download it, where to download it, and uh, how to connect uh, to your DJI Air 2S to do the firmware update. So, let's put this aside. I'm going to record the screen so we can see stuff. All right. So, on the laptop uh, or the computer, you're going to go in the DJI.com website. You scroll, uh, you click on support. Then you scroll down, you're going to see Download Center, View All in Download Center. Click on this link. And what you need to look at is Software, DJI Assistant 2 Series. And it's the first one. The rest, it's not really, really useful because you want something that's going to work on the Air 2S or the drone you will have. And uh, in that case, this is DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. And you see that? DJI Air 2S is there. There's also the Mavic 3, Mini 3 Pro, etc. etc. And uh, yeah, you could download it for Macintosh. I have a, a PC laptop, so I'm gonna use Windows version. You download it. Once it's downloaded, you install it. I'm gonna skip this part. You install it, you know how to do it. And you launch it. When you launch it, it's gonna ask you for the terms of use. Who's gonna read it anyway? Huh? <laughs> you scroll down and press agree. Privacy policy. You agree. Uh, data authorization. DJI account information. DJI device information. Uh, let's put it that. Um, join now. I'm gonna consider joining your program later, maybe. Okay, we're gonna have to connect the DJI Air 2S using the cable that was provided in your kit. It's a um, USB to USB-C. So the USB connector, USB-C connector is gonna go into your drone, like so. And the other one's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna move it to um, heaven. USB port. Okay, I'm gonna move it on this side. You never know which side to put it on. Freaking old USB A. Whew. Okay. Now it's connected. You need to power on the drone. Now it should detect. It did the pump -a -dum on PC. Should detect my drone. Yeah, not now. You see that it detected the uh, DJI Air 2S in the app. You press on it, you click on it, sorry. Then it's loading the firmware list. Firmware incompatibility detected, uh, some module, blah blah. Do you want to update your firmware? You press confirm. Then it's going to update the firmware. And we're, are we done? <laughs> yes, 100%. Now it's booting up again. Oh, there you go, update complete. So that's how you do it via the DJI Assistant 2 software. Now let's go back to myself. So that's how you do it. I hope you liked this video and if you did, you know what to do. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. So there's a little like button there and a subscribe on your right and the bell to be notified to see more of that type of content. So fly safe guys and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.